Well, welcome to build day 39. Kaylee and I are just getting out in the hunt. It's about quarter to nine in the morning. And we just got done running an errand. We went down to Harbor Freight and I picked up another security cam because of the one I ruined last night. Now, the only part I need out of it, the camera's in there, is this part right here. That's the only part I need. I literally shredded the wire on it. So the rest of the camera is going to go back down. It's going to go downstairs into storage, and I'll use it as a backup in case I need it. Now, and there's Kaylee. She was out exploring. Out into the hunt. I figure showing you the hunt instead of my ugly mug. I don't want to scare you guys too badly this early in the morning. Oh, you left Buddha out here. Huh? I bet he's frozen. Didn't realize Buddha was out in the haunt because I know she didn't bring it out with her. But, uh, boo. <laughs> uh, we're going to be working over here in the Hammer and Clown uh, to start with. Uh, first order of business is I've got a T on the airline coming in for the Hammer and Clown. I've got to run another airline out and over to the jack-in-the-box. Uh, once that's done, I need to get the barrel out of here and all my stuff out of the pond. Uh, then we're going to get lined. We'll get the barrel in, get the water blaster hooked up, put the fence back on. And then we're going to hop over to the jack-in-the-box. And the jack-in-the-box... I'm going to try something hopefully a little different this year. Uh, normally, uh, with the distance apart that I have the hammer and clown and the jack in the box, and the way the haunt's laid out, I never have enough airline to get to the front of the, uh, of the, uh, prop. So I'm always having to do everything from the back side, which is why I have, uh, in fact, you can see one there on the other side, the side of the skeleton there. All three panels, that one, that one, and that one have holes in them. So I can get to the back of the prop to work on the pneumatics and brain board if I need it. This year, with the way the things are laid out, I'm probably going to be able to uh, get the airline in and be able to work on it from the front. Which means I'll be able to see the prop fire as... I hook it up and try to test it. Normally I'm doing it blind and I have to have Sue Ann out here to tell me <laughs> you know what's happening if there's a problem or something. That would be nice. But we need to get this display done first. And part of getting this one done is getting the airline for the jack-in-the-box ran so I can get the hay and stuff in in the back. And then we can work on the pond and the fencing and uh, get the hay in and be done in here. So, uh, breakfast of the day. Here, no use carrying that back up to the house. So we'll just toss it down there and I'll put it in here in a sec. Uh, breakfast of the day. What are we hungry for today, people? A quesadilla. And just not a cheese quesadilla. Pepperoni. Black olive. Some diced onions. Some minced garlic. And three different types of cheeses in the quesadilla. And with a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce spread across the top. A thin layer of it to add a little zest to it. So uh, there's your breakfast of the day. And like I said, we're going to be focusing on clown today. Get the clown done. Then we'll hop into the water room. Get the air blast or water blasters set up and dialed in and then we're for the most part caught up uh, and then we can move on to uh, probably doing the corn if there's time I don't know how long all the uh, pneumatic stuff is going to take you know it could be I could be done by noon and be over to the corn and done with the corn by dinner time I don't know but we're going to go find out so let's get the day started okay been working in the clown room and, Sue has been in here too. He's done some vineage there. And those are actually swan gourd vines. In fact, you can see some back by the leg back there. 
But this area, other than the water, is done. Totally done. Over here, on the other hand... Get right up, boys and girls. Oh, his head's not juking in and out. Trip him again. Yeah, his head's supposed to be bobbing in and out. I got a wire pinch underneath. I can fix that. Step right out, boys and girls. I can work on that. I do need to replace the sensor here. She is... firing on her own, as well as when the sensor's tripped. Uh, that usually means there's a crossed wire in the sensor. So I've, uh, I'm gonna go in and grab some lunch, and when I come back out, I'll replace that sensor. I got extra, so there's no problem with that. Uh, and I'll also check, take, uh, check the wiring. It must have come loose when I was moving the board around. Because she's supposed to pop up in the air and then the head's supposed to come forward and back. So, got a little bit more fine tuning to do, but we're for the most part done. Hey guys, I promised you a nighttime view of the water room. You're going to get more than just the water room. Uh, we've made some really, really good progress today. So it felt like it took a long day long. We are officially done with pneumatics. All the pneumatics are in and done. We did the clown today. And there's your hammering clown. See if we can trip it. I got the sensor down there. There we go. No water, so the water blaster ain't working. But, so Ann came in, we planted some swan gourds this year, and she saved the vines, and she creeped this out. She also uh, did some work on the fence with some fake green ridge. I'm saying I'm triggering it over and over. Uh, she did some fake green ridge in here. This one ended up being a little tricky. Took me a while to do, but we got him done. We got the gates up. And again, Sue Ann did some fake green ridge in, greenage in here. I do need to get up there and tuck that wire back. I'll do that from the other side. I can't get into it with a jack-in-the-box there. Uh, we also got in here and got the last of the pneumatics done, the two water blasters. Trying to get over here. There we go. I tripped him. Zombie bait. So that will distract him, I hope. This is kind of where we're going to have the sensor at in here. It's right down here. But I don't know if that's going to be its end resting spot or if I'll mount it on the fence or what. Uh, I got to put hay in here still around Fred and along the barrels. But Swan wants to get in here and do some uh, greenage and uh, some cobwebbing here in this area and around Fred. And with the brain board being in here, my airlines and all the wiring, I decided I'd hold off on doing the uh, uh, hay until she was done. Uh, she's going to be out here tomorrow doing that. So once she's done, I can get over here, I can get the hay in and then uh, get the sensor into its final spot and then uh, get the fence panels up. We've got one that goes here and one over there, and we'll get those in. Cause we still have a couple of things to put up on the water wall yet, too, and I'm not sure if she's going to want to put any greenage over there or not. 
So, uh, other than that, water room is done and ready to go. Just need the water. And tomorrow's Monday. Uh, water will be going in on Tuesday. So, we're getting there. And then this evening after dinner, I started working. Sorry, I got a wheelbarrow here of hay. But, we started working on this. I got the lights in, in the corn hallway. And we're using, for the first time in here, flickering yellow floods. And I normally didn't, I've never, I've always wanted to use them in here, but I always thought they'd be too dim. And actually, I think these are brighter than the greens and the blues. The greens and the blues tend to do more shadow to where that flickering yellow highlights the uh, corn stalks as a yellow. So, and I need to get Morgan in here to uh, rake badly. Now over here, you know, turn on that light, is the uh, display for the corn hallway. And the hallway is all I got done tonight. I haven't done anything in here yet. Uh, we're going to be using uh two orange spots up there on the mast one to shine down onto that one and the other one to shine down onto that one and then i'm going to put a flickering yellow up there to shine down over here to where the hallway is going to be that's where they go into the photo hall and then i'm going to put a orange spot in here to highlight the scarecrow and we've got two led pucks to put into those guys to light them up and that's going to be all the lighting now i also have a brain board to put in here to control him and uh so i got that to do with a speaker for the soundtrack and then it's just hay and fence and we'll be done with corn so corn will get done tomorrow definitely and then we'll be into the nightmare which is the photo hallway and the photo hallway reason why it's a nightmare is uh although it's wiring lots and lots of wiring i've got splut spuds spud uh, that spots for a lot of the pictures i got some uh some of the pictures are rgb light strips so they need to be wired and uh, it's just a pain in the ass but that's what we've gotten done so far today so we've made some progress clown is 100 percent done this room Oh, God, let's see. I got fence panels, the hay. Uh, Sue Ann's got a few things that she needs to do in here, and then we need the water. So I'd say 95% done. Uh, and Clown's not 100. It's about 95, too, because it needs its water as well. But this turned out really, really nice. Now, while zombie bait's screaming and yelling, let's... Uh, I'm going to bring this to a close. Stay tuned for happy hour and your end of the day wrap up. Well, as promised, it's happy hour. Now, what is it with happy hour, by the way? You know, when we started this, I was doing happy hour between 5 and 6. Then I was doing it right after dinner. Now I'm doing it right before we close. It keeps getting later and later. And that's because I didn't want to give up on the work. Uh, tonight's drink is going to be an Irish coffee, freshly brewed hot coffee, brown sugar, Irish whiskey, heavy cream, and uh, that is slightly whipped. Sounds good, actually. I just wish I could drink coffee. I wonder if you can do an Irish tea. You know, same recipe, but substitute tea for coffee. I don't know. Might be interesting. <laughs> One of these days, if I get desperate enough, I'll give it a try. Either way, Irish whiskey is good anytime. All right, end of the day wrap up. It's a little bit before nine. I'm calling it quit slightly early. Uh, then again, the last couple of nights I've been out here till nine thirty, almost ten o'clock. So I'm calling it early. I figure we made some good progress today. Uh, we started out over in the hammering clown display while the prop was uh, done itself. We still needed to get the hay in. I needed to do the liners. Uh, I needed to get the water blaster hooked up, though the uh, switch was already in and 
set and ready to go. Uh, we also went down to Harbor Freight, Kaylee and I, and I bought another camera to get the power cord, and then we checked the camera. The lights and stuff are coming on on it, so it looks like it's okay and running. And I mentioned that earlier today. Uh, then we went over and worked on the uh, Jack in the Box. That one was pretty much straightforward all the way through. Didn't have any problems until I got to the board. Uh, the board worked fine. It programmed. The thing triggered when it was supposed to. The problem was with the sensor. Uh, we got. I, I mounted the sensor where we needed it to have it. And if you walked in front of it, the prop triggered. Uh, then the it has two soundtracks. It has an ambient soundtrack, which is a track that plays when the prop is not triggered. Then it has a triggered track, a track that plays uh, when you know when the sensor's been tripped. And I have the prop uh, set, you know, to go off at a certain point during the uh, that soundtrack. Uh, it would trip, and then when it got done, it'd go back to ambient, ambient soundtrack, and then for about 20 seconds, it would play the ambient soundtrack, then automatically trigger again. And it just kept doing that, and over and over and over, and I was looking at wiring and everything else, thinking I had the uh, sensor or the sensor cord too close to a power line. No power lines anywhere near it. So, I said to heck with it, uh, I'll just swap out the sensor. Maybe there's something wrong with the sensor. Went in the house, looked at the time. Okay, it's lunchtime. I took about a half hour, 45 minute lunch break. Grabbed a new sensor, came back out, and I went over there. And it stopped doing it. So, it must have been a little bit of moisture inside the uh, housing for the sensor. Those things do sweat every so often. And we've been... Uh, getting upper 60s during the day, but down around 32 at night. Now it'll cause them to sweat a little bit. So I never did uh, change the sensor. You know, if it acts up again, I probably will go in and change the sensor. And it doesn't take long to change them. Just got to do three screws <laughs> to get the old one off. Put the wires in, tighten those three screws down, set the sensor, and you're done. Uh, so no problem there. I am noticing another problem with it, though, and it's with the soundtrack. It has a built-in uh, built MP3 player, and the soundtracks are loaded on an SD card, which slide into the MP3 player. I'm noticing the ambient uh, track is uh, crackling and popping, you know, almost like it's cutting out a little bit, to where the activation track, Working just fine. I'm not sure if it's the MP3 player or the SD card, you know, or something. I guess I could get the SD card out and erase it, format it, and reload the uh, soundtracks on it and see if that corrects the problem. If that doesn't, then it's either in a bad uh, MP3 player or a bad SD card. And I hope it's not a bad MP3 player because I can't get those MP3 players anymore. So, I don't know. If it bugs me enough, I'll look at it. Uh, right now, I'm just happy to have the damn thing working. So, uh, From there, we got that done. We moved over to the water room. And spent the rest of the rest of the day before dinner uh, getting the airline ran, uh, getting the water blasters, you know, hooked up, uh, getting the brain board in, and that that took a little bit of time. I had one of the uh, solenoids for one of the water blasters, the one that was over by the uh, pumping station, uh, was bad. I ended up having to switch that out. Uh, but we got all that in. I was going to do the hay, but I got to looking at my wiring and hosing mess right where it's at. And it's right where Sue Ann wants to do some stuff. 
And I got to thinking, if I put the hay in, she's not going to be able to see where to step. <laughs> and I could just see her stepping on something and tripping and falling into the roses or backwards into the pond or accidentally stepping on the board or, you know. So I decided to hold off and putting the hay in until she's done with what she wants to do. Then I'll come back, put the hay in, put the fencing in, mount the uh, sensor where we want the sensor at. And just go from there. Uh, that's all of 10 minutes work. You know, putting the hay in, the, the sensor, and the uh, fence panel. So, that's easy enough to do. Uh, after dinner, we went over into the corn hallway, got the lights mounted in the hallway, and got them wired. And so now we can see in the corn hallway. With as uh, with it being underneath that big tent, and as dark as that tent is, uh, during the day, we're thinking of during the day turning the lights on just in the corn hallway, so people can see because it's dang near pitch black in there without the lights on. And during the day with little ones and everything, we need to have, those lights need to be on. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, tomorrow, we'll fin get the water room finished off, minus the water, and uh, we got to work on the uh, corn hall display, uh, getting the lights in there and the board in there. Uh, it'll probably take a couple hours. Uh, I do know we have a doctor's appointment, and it's not for me. <laughs> My mom's got a doctor's appointment. I told her I'd take her to it uh, tomorrow afternoon. So I'll be gone for a couple hours with that. So we are going to lose a little bit of time tomorrow. But I don't see why we can't get the, cor uh, the corn area done and be working on uh, photo hallway. I have no idea how far we're going to get in the photo hallway. But... We'll get somewhere. At least get lights mounted, if nothing else. I gotta figure out what color of lights we want to use, too. Ah, oh, jeez. That's a fun one. I've been having trouble picking colors. I've been having uh, Sue Ann help me with that. Throughout the whole haunt. We've been bouncing ideas off of each other and stuff. Uh, anyway, barring that, I'm gonna go get you guys edited. I want to see if I can get into bed before 11, 11.30. Which is why I've been, been going to bed the last couple of nights. Because I've been out here so late. So stay spooky. Stay toxic.